Welding symbols are designated by the American Welding Society, and are used as a standard throughout every industry. A basic welding symbol gives welders information about the weld location, type, size, and length. It also may include information about weld finish, weld contour, testing, welding process, and other references. In this section, we will cover the following parts of welding symbol. 1. The reference line. 2. The arrow. 3. The tail. 4. Basic weld symbols. 5. Dimensions and other data. 6. Finish symbols. 7. Specification, process, or other references. 8. Supplementary symbols. The reference line is a basic and required welding symbol element. It is oriented horizontally. The information required to perform the welding operation correctly is drawn on, above, or below the reference line. A tail may be included in the symbol to provide an area to specify the welding process or other details. Two or more reference lines may be used with a single arrow to indicate a sequence of operations. The reference line nearest to the tip of the arrow specifies the first operation. Notice that the subsequent operations are shown in the order that is away from the tip of the arrow. The side of the joint that the arrow is pointing towards indicates the location of the arrow side. And thus the opposite side would be the location of the other side of the joint. For example, in the symbol of a butt joint, the arrow side is the side of the joint where the arrow tip is positioned. While the opposite side of the joint is the other side. Similarly, for a lap joint, the arrow side is the joint corner that the arrow is pointing towards. While the other side is the opposing corner of the lap joint. For a T joint, the arrow side is the corner of the joint that the arrow is pointing towards. And the other corner of the T joint represents the other side. The weld symbol that is drawn on the lower side of the reference line represents the welding operation to be performed on the arrow side of the joint. While the weld symbol that is located above the reference line represents the welding operation to be performed on the other side of the joint. When a specification, process, test, or other detail is needed to deliver additional requirements or instruction for the joint, a tail may be included. The symbol shown here gives the welder instruction to weld a CJP or complete joint penetration weld, regardless of the joint geometry. Shown here are the 16 basic weld symbols. The most commonly used weld symbols are The square groove symbol The V-groove symbol The bevel groove symbol And the fillet joint symbol These four common weld symbols will be explained later. Next, I will show you how the other weld joint types look like. Shown here is the front view of some groove welds that are not welded. The weld symbols represent the shape of the grooves, as you can see from the following drawings. U groove, J groove, flare bevel groove, and flare V groove. Plug and slot welds are used when the joining points are not located on the edges. A hole is created on one piece, and weld can be made through this hole. The hole used is usually round, and the weld is called a plug weld. When the hole is not around, the weld is known as a slot weld. A spot weld can be made using resistance welding, gas tungsten arc welding, gas metal arc welding, electron beam welding, and ultrasonic welding. It is welded only at a specified spot. A seam weld is a continuous welding version of a spot weld. Notice that a seam weld goes the entire length of a piece. Backing is sometimes used for grooves to ensure complete penetration. Surfacing helps to repair surface wear such as abrasion, fatigue, and corrosion. Surfacing is done by welding stringer beads on a surface. An edge weld is a joint along the edge of two parallel metal surfaces. The dimensions of a weld are shown on the same side of the reference line. As the weld symbol. The size of the weld is shown to the left of the weld symbol. 
and the length of the weld is shown on the right. For example, this is a symbol for a fillet weld on the arrow side. The weld size is a quarter inch. And the length of the weld is six inches. If a length is not given, the weld symbol applies to the whole portion of the joint. For example, shown here is a symbol for a fillet weld. Which the size of the weld is a quarter inch. Since the weld length is not specified, a continuous weld is required. The units used in the dimension will be specified on the drawing. They are either the U.S. customary system of measurement, commonly in inches, or the international systems of units, or the SI units, usually in millimeters. Finish symbols are represented by a letter to specify the method of achieving required weld appearance. It is always used together with the contour symbols. Shown here is an example of a welding symbol with the finishing symbol. The straight line is the contour symbol that represents flush or flat appearance. And the letter G tells the welder to grind until the surface is flush or flat. The other finishing symbols are C for chipping, H for hammering, M for machining, and R for rolling. The types of contour symbols will be explained later under the other supplementary symbols section. Specification, process, and other references are included in the tail of a welding symbol. The tail can carry specifications like job specification number, code reference, consumable insert class, and backing or spacer material specification. Welding or brazing processes will have letter designations. Shown here are the frequently used welding process designations. For example, SMA stands for shielded metal arc welding. GMAW stands for gas metal arc welding. FCAW stands for flux cord arc welding. And etc. Welders must use the specified process to weld the joint.